Okay, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp, and uh, this one is going to be a quick hit, straight to the point. And this is a verse of the day. All right, this is a Bible app, which gives me verses of the day, and for the most part. You know it be on point you know but uh this is first peter chapter 4 verse 16. it says yet if any man suffer as a christian all right and we know what a christian is a christian is an israelite which is a saint all right only a saint can be an israelite all right you think a christian you think of christianity you think of jesus christ all right hey zeus but really christian okay is an israelite all right and you're an israelite from the seed of your father okay so all right israel is a speckled bird is what i want to say okay israel is a speckled bird and the scriptures speak on also a confusion of face so you may think you know someone that is an african which you will call today and you would say well that's an african but through the spirit all right and of the seed of his father line he can go back to being an Israelite, the same as for an Edomite, all right? You may say a Caucasian, okay, uh, a so-called white man. You would say, well, that's a so-called white man. You know, that's a Caucasian. But his spirit and his father's line can go back to being an Israelite, then that means he's an Israelite, all right? So it says, yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. So if we suffer for Yahweh Shai's sake and for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his gospel, this doctrine, then it says, let him not be ashamed. There is no reason for us to be ashamed because the world, all right, is, is an abomination today. You know, everything you turn, you look and turn around, it's a filthy act. All right. What's that? Mark 8 and 38. Matter of fact, let me uh, get that real quick. All right, uh, this is uh, Mark chapter 8 and 38. As a matter of fact, I started at 30, 34. All right, it says, um, let me read the scripture again. It says, 1 Peter 4 and 16, Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. All right, but let him glory in the most high Yahweh on this on hit on this behalf all right so I want to deal with the point where it says let him not be ashamed now these are words of Yahweh Shai speaking so you can see that is written in red this is Mark chapter 8 and starting at verse 34 it says and when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also he said unto them whatsoever will come after whosoever will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me all right so that's one point why why the um the uh servants of yahweh bashim yahweh shai starting with the prophets and teachers okay why we're not ashamed of yahweh bashim yahweh shai and why would we why would they be shamed for even teaching his gospel and his doctrine because the Lord said, whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself. So if you deny yourself in this world, all right, you have already given up, you know, the attitude and mindset of being ashamed of. Because most people, two thirds of our people in this world, they're ashamed of not being, uh, you know, the hit, you know, being in the new. They're ashamed of looking like an eyeball, you know, not going with the multitude, the masses. You know, if you're not going with the masses, then, and you're not following the multitude, then you look like, you know, an oddball. You know, you, you have that shame upon you because it's like you don't, you don't add up. You know, you're, you're not um, of the new. You know, you have something of the past which should be deaded, you know, as the mindset that goes here in Babylon. It says, whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me taking up his cross meaning to take up your burden we all have to walk this straight gate in the truth 
we all go through our ups and downs and our merry-go-rounds man all right and uh we learn that we suffer and it's true so you have to take up your cross all right you have to take up your cross and bear it and suffer it and endure it it says and follow me which is follow yahweh shai all right so right there you can see you know you the lord already start to purge you know that mindset of being ashamed you know being ashamed being ashamed for what you know of teaching this truth being ashamed to wear our garments when we in camp where people make mockery and call us power rangers and all sorts of names you know fake superheroes and this and that verse 35 for what's for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels the same shall save it okay so it's all about losing your life in this place which is really leaving the matrix man the concept you know the ideology you know the way that you live manning yourself in this place you know the folliness it's all matrix it's all vanity so if you lose it says but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake all right in the gospels you lose your life in this place because you're no longer part of this world you no longer participate you don't go to the essence of riots you don't go to the banqueting you know you don't be a part of the uh what you would call the norm today okay you're not worshiping pagan holidays not performing the pagan rituals that the world do when these holidays come in it says but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels because the gospel is what the good news that's the good news that yahweh shah brung on the earth to his elect it says the same shall save it so we're saving our life meanwhile we lost our life according to this world verse 36 for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul prime example is these rappers man these movie actors those that's up in hollywood jake all right that's up in hollywood and athletes the scripture says for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul esau edom all right they make these celebrities sell their soul all right they sign their name in blood they got to do all these pagan rituals and blood sacrifices killing their own family members who they love just to have fame and fortune you see so for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul it says or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels man so what are we going to be ashamed for we're not ashamed of yahweh shai we're not ashamed of the teachings and the doctrine which was which was we was taught okay through the spirit and power of yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rechach hodash okay through the holy spirit whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of yahweh shai and of his words his words is the book all right he come in the volume of the book it says in this adulterous and sinful generation you know how stupid could that be this is the most wickedest adulterous and sinful kingdom sinful generation on the planet today and you mean to tell me that we're going to be ashamed of our righteous power okay our deliverer savior yahweh shai we're going to be ashamed of our uh father yahweh which is which are in heaven okay hallowed be his name it says whosoever that therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels so yahweh shah is going to be ashamed of you you jokers that's our that's our ashamed of him all right so the joke is not on us the joke is on you two-thirds man the joke is on you scoffers it's not on us okay you can laugh now but when yahweh shah crack those clouds you're going to be crying later and vexed in the spirit so you know like i said this was a quick hit i'm gonna finish reading up first peter 4 and 16. this is uh it says yet if any man suffer as a christian which is an israelite all right which is a saint an israelite it says let him uh not be ashamed but let him glorify yahweh 
on this behalf. So when we're being scoffed and scorned, and they take scorning and delight, all right, and scoffing and scorning their delight against us by preaching this, this truth, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, then guess what? On this behalf of being uh, uh, persecuted, all right, suffering for Yahweh Shah's sake, we're going to glory in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakwadash, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole for elect. Shalom.